Welcome back to Maker's Muse. In this video, we'll be reviewing the latest in 3D printing pens. This is the version 3 design from Banggood, and almost two years ago I reviewed the Yaya 3D printing pen, but I was very disappointed in its performance and overall feel. So how have things changed? Are they finally worth getting now? Let's find out. So in the box you get the 3D pen, some 1.75mm PLA filament, the power adapter, and a little instruction manual. In terms of tech specs, it runs on 12 volts DC, and unfortunately there wasn't a plug pack option for Australia, so I simply decided to snip off the plug and attach it to my battery charging power supply. The unit is really sleek compared to previous models and has a nice soft touch finish. I'm actually really impressed at how nice it actually is to hold, and it's actually quite comfortable rather than being cumbersome like the Yaya pen. It's still really large for a pen, but not too bad. It's also way lighter as well, and I've done this by swapping out the stepper motor for a geared brush motor, which gives the unit more torque in a smaller package, but at the expense of precise feed control. The next nice feature is the OLED screen, which is actually really nice and easy to read. Using this screen, you can dial between 1 to 6 speed settings and any temperature range all the way up to a limit of 230 degrees. So you can print pretty much any filament with a precise right temperature, though I would recommend sticking to PLA if you're just getting started. I've also noticed the ceramic nozzle, which in my opinion greatly reduces the risk of soldering iron style instant burns. However, the tip is still extremely hot and I do not recommend this for kids. It is not a toy for kids. End of story. So first test, speed. How quickly can it extrude? Well, pretty quickly actually. I'd say at least three times faster than the Yayo pen I tested, and the speed controls don't actually change the motor speed at all. It's rather like a slow PWM style control. It pulses the motor on and off at different intervals. So I think they've most likely done this to maintain high torque in such a small geared motor. The pulsing has a very small visible effect on the extrusion, but it's not too bad and something not many people are gonna notice. And the withdrawing speed, Yep, <laughs> it's really fast. So much better than the Yayo yeah, pen that I tested ages ago. So let's put my total lack of artistic skill to the test and see what I can come up with with this 3D printing pen. So the little pen's actually quite fun actually. There's one gripe though, I'm left-handed, and the button layouts are designed for right-handed use. So I actually found using the pen upside down helped me get around this somewhat, but it's definitely not ideal. So I suppose sinister people like myself will just kind of have to deal with it. So again, for people like me, I'm not overly certain how much productive use this device has. But for people interested in craft, like scrapbooking, the 3D printing pen is actually a really neat little creative tool. If you use a soldering iron for burning wood, or you use a hot glue gun to glue things into your scrapbooking tool, the 3D printing pen will be a really nice addition to that creative arsenal. The 3D printing pen retails for just under 60 US shipped from Banggood, and although Christmas has finished, I'd say that the 3D printing pen makes a great present for anyone interested in toying with the idea of 3D printing, but not quite ready to invest in a fully fledged machine which is fair enough. So a big thanks to Kelsey from Banggood for sending me the pen for a review, and full disclosure, Banggood has not paid me anything for this video, they just sent me the pen for free to get my thoughts and opinions, so all of those are my own. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe, share amongst your friends, and if you would like to get your own 3D printing pen, the link for it is down below. See you again soon here on Maker's Muse. Bye!